Mumbai's last line of defense against the sea, its mangroves have reduced by half. Indiscriminate land reclamation and garbage dumping are choking this vital buffer against flooding. Aishwarya Palival has his ground report. I am holding the first PIL that was filed in Bombay High Court against illegal dumping of debris on mangrove land. As you can see behind me, a lot of garbage and debris has been dumped in this mangrove in Andheri. These mangroves cover approximately 300 acres of land. Now the reason why people are fighting tooth and nail to save these mangroves is that if these mangroves die, then there will be no place or no area which will soak in the excessive water that Mumbai will face during torrential rains. Already from 2000 to 2015, the drop in the total area of mangrove cover has depleted by 15 to 20 percent. In 2000, Mumbai had close to 10,000 acres of land under mangrove cover. Fast forward to 2015, and this vital buffer has shrunk to under 7,000 acres. 60 percent of the reduction came from land reclamation done to accommodate the needs of the growing city. But as urban planners point out, there are far better solutions. Creating uh, centers around city, which are in, on the island city, as well as in the uh, Palghar, Josai Virai region, along with uh, Panvel and uh, Navi Mumbai and Trans Harbour uh, Bridge, which is coming up, if these things are developed rapidly, then there will be definitely a less, uh, uh, what you call, a burden on the uh, western suburbs or the central suburbs and then we can protect the uh, you know the naturalness of the city as well as its surrounding areas and have a little more uh, well balanced development that's the only way we can grow actually mumbai has also lost another 30 percent of this mangrove cover to illegal dumping by encroachers this land grab is done in a unique manner debris is being dumped on these mangroves which soaks the water and chokes the mangroves to death an activist allege that the government officials in the know turn a blind eye to this activity. Most of the people who are doing this are people with political builder connections because they stand to profit directly from it. And in the case of Mira Bhaiendar, it is the local bodies who are doing it. In fact, if you see the horrendous dumping ground which has absolutely no infrastructure for it, waste management which is on the site you just taking the waste and put dumping it on the mangroves this has been going on from 2011. in fact the situation is so dire environmentalists predict this could be another chennai in the making but they believe mumbai can be saved so i think it is extremely important that uh, local citizens who are going to be the biggest beneficiaries of the flood prevention from these wetlands are actively engaged in uh, working with the municipal corporation uh, police and other authorities to ensure that the edges of the mangroves are, or any of the wetlands, whether it is rivers, nalas, ponds, uh, creeks, are maintained in a high level of uh, cleanliness and uh, debris and garbage dumping is prohibited. Currently, if somebody is caught dumping debris on mangroves, they are let off with a paltry fine of 20,000 rupees. Small change for what is the city's final line of defense against the sea. Clearly, Mumbai has still not learnt its lessons from 26-7. In Mumbai, Ashwara Paliwal for Magic Bricks Now.